Many people think that honeybees are in decline. Actually, honeybees are not in decline. What's in decline is their health. We can restore health. We restore health in many organisms. Some of our wild bees, they are in decline. And to restore their populations is gonna be a lot more effort. These are wild bees that live on their own in the ground or in stems. Their lives are much more at risk than a honeybee colony that we can maintain. But in general, it's all a wake-up call to us. We need to regain this balance so that we can grow food on a large scale and protect our insects, our beneficial insects, our bees, our wild bees, our butterflies. We can do that on a large scale too. I think what we're seeing right now is a, a correction, a rebalancing of how we consider nature. And bees are driving that, that cause. When it comes to, for example, pesticides, uh, we're using them very poorly. And we have it in our power to stop that, and that'll dramatically uh, help the bees. There's many, you know, we talk about the bees, there's, there's pesticide impact, there's habitat, there's um, disease and parasites. The bees historically can take care of a lot of those things on their own. They're incredibly resilient insect. So how can we put this resilient bee colony in an environment that allows it, it, it to take care of itself? That's what fascinates me about bees. That's one of the many thousands of things that <laughs> fascinate me about bees. It's this combination of so many pressures that they just can't keep up. The, 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 the horse can't carry the load anymore, in a way. And it's very much in our power to make some changes in what we're doing. A healthy bee colony can be one that's inside a tree snag in the middle of a forest, for example, in upstate New York. A healthy bee colony can be one that's hanging from a cliff in southern Arizona, outside Tucson, for example. A healthy bee colony can be one that's in my backyard. And a healthy bee colony can be in the middle of the almond orchards. And how is that so? We think that healthy bees can't possibly live in big agricultural settings, and they can. They're so adaptable, they're so resilient. It's up to bee keepers and the world, I would say, to make sure that when they have to go into a risky situation like a big egg or some kind of crop to be pollinated or next to a corn and soybean field, that they then have other places to go where they can restore their health. Spas, bee spas. We can do this. <laughs> we can give bees foraging spas, places for them to regain their own health. Our bees can take some risk for us as long as that we can give back to them and provide them healthy spaces so they can be healthy.